Hi everyone, I know PSLE maths can be tricky, but don't worry, I am here to help you. For today, we will be trying to solve a numbers question. And this question can be found in the 2017 Paper 2 PSLE paper. It's question number 13 and it carries 4 marks. Okay, So part A is 1 mark. And part B is three marks, okay? Just for your information. So let's get started. Gopal and Henry were paid a total of $3,850 for a job they did. Gopal was paid more than Henry. How much more? $2,030 more. So for question one, they want us to find out how much Gopal was paid for the job. Pretty easy, but I will draw a model to help you understand, okay? So Gopal... And Henry, these are the two people involved. Gopal was paid more, right? So I'm just going to draw his model such that it's longer than Henry's. Remember, your model must include all the details in the question so that you will understand better. So this part is 2030. Okay. What else does the question tell us? The question also tells us the total. Okay, so we can indicate this in our model as well. And ultimately, we are trying to find out how much Gopal was paid. Okay, so I will indicate this with a question mark. So we remember that that is what we are trying to find out. Alright, so if I do my equations, it's pretty simple. Three thousand eight hundred and fifty minus two thousand and thirty that would give me one thousand eight hundred and twenty. Okay? So I've removed the excess part. Now I divide it by two to get nine hundred and ten. So this part is nine hundred and ten. This part is nine hundred and ten. Okay, but we want to find Gopal, so we have to add. Okay, pretty simple still. So I get 2,940. Alright, I hope you get the same answer as me. So we are done with part A. Let's continue with part B. Okay, so the question says that both Gopal and Henry were paid based on the number of days they worked. Gopal worked three times as many days as Henry, and Gopal was also paid $5 more than Henry per day. So how many days did Gopal work? Okay. So this question is slightly more difficult than the first part, but don't worry, we'll figure it out together. So let's start off by drawing our model again. So Gopal worked three times as many days than Henry. So let's look up here. Initially, we found that Henry was paid 910. Am I right? Okay. So if this is 910, what about this? I would take 910 times 3, which will give me 2730. But my question to you is, was he actually paid this amount? No, he was actually paid 2940. So, he was paid more. And the reason for that is because the question says that Gopal was paid $5 more. Okay, so we're going to subtract it now. 2,940 because that is what he was actually paid, right? Minus 2,730. That would give me 210. So remember, every day he was paid five, 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 five dollars more than Henry. So I'm going to divide this. To get 42 days. 
Okay? So this would be my answer. So now if you're doubting yourself and you think that, oh, maybe this might not be right, we can always do a quick check. So I'm going to write my check here in green. Okay? So if Gopal worked 42 days, technically, based on this line here, Henry would have worked 14 days. Okay? He was paid 910 oh, for his 14 days of work. So 910 divided by 14 will give me, let me see, 65. So every day, Henry was paid 65. Okay? So remember the question also say that Gopal was paid $5 more, right? So I'm going to add $5, which will give me 70. Pretty easy. So if my answer here is correct, if I take 70 per day that he was paid, times 42, I should get 2,940, which is my answer for part A. So this is how I know that my answer is correct. Okay, children? All the best for your revision. If this video helped you, please remember to like, share and subscribe. We will be constantly uploading these explanation videos to help you in your studies and your revision for mathematics.